that is now leading the way in football technology. Under new coach Brad Scott, the Kangaroos have adopted a scientific approach to training. Tony Jones explains. He could be North Melbourne's most valuable recruit this year. Yeah, I got you, mate. Big brother. And it seems he's forever watching. Leave it go for a little bit longer and then we'll adjust him from forward back up into the midfield if he's metres per minute on up. Thanks, mate. Just let me know. Coach Brad Scott has teamed with technology, fitting players with GPS systems. Now, that in itself isn't unique, but what happens next is data tracing the performance of each player on the training track is relayed to laptops, the results of which are then radioed through to a wired up Brad Scott. Make sure that, uh, that Olivia links him up wherever possible on those drills to the vision so that we can see why that is. Because if, if we need greater volume, is it because he's not pushing to the contest or is it because just the way the game played, he's not involved as much? Now, certain players work rate, if it's not high enough, we can decide whether that's because of the training drill itself or whether the individual player's not working hard enough and then I can give that feedback to the player. And we usually get pretty good results when I go up and give them a spray. Shin boners of years gone by would shudder at the science being used, but Scott is the first to admit the game is still very much about getting the ball. That's the fundamental. That's probably the 80% of the game. Uh, the rest is just trying to find that little edge. OK, well, we've, we've just got to reduce that time between drills. All right. Thanks, mate. Let's get him going, Croc. Croc, get him going. Let's go. Quick up. Having just introduced the technology, it would be unfair to expect instant results, but now at least the ruse are tracking in the right direction. Ah, your work rate's always good, mate. Tony Jones, 9 News.